So the Hinsdale house is known to be one of the most haunted homes in the entire state of New York. Picture these experiences that our people are having in there. The whole house itself has this like energy that comes off of it. They try to have the house exercise. Yes. Hello, hello. There is a negative spirit. He has attacked many people. This kind of Annabelle type doll says, uh, do not open or touch. <laughs> Are you a demon? It's not just one area of this home that has got this crazy energy going on. It's literally acres, hundreds of acres of property. Since it happened in the 70s, it was in all the papers. This was a really unheard of thing in 1974. So even in the 70s, this was like yes. well known to be a Oh, absolutely. Location. It was so exciting because like these things weren't out in public at all. The initial family that lived here noticed all sorts of stuff going on and they tried to have the house exercised. Yes. Now, I have been here and witnessed the house shake like it had its own um, we witnessed earthquake. Stuff like, we witnessed stuff like that yeah. as well. The window in the living room on this side was absolutely black mm -hmm. with flies. Oh, wow. Covered. No heat That's source. That's crazy. No food source. Mm -hmm. They were dive bombing our heads. They were like, how are these alive even? Do you ever feel like there's an evil presence by any source? A lot of people come in and say there is a negative spirit. Okay. He has attacked many people. Really? He said his name is Friedrich and he plans on attacking a woman. If you look close, you can see scratches yeah, down scratches, her neck yeah. and choke marks under the neck. This was a split oh, yeah. second. This is up in the woods, the woods Terrify me. I could there see was something. Head, arms. Yes. Okay. There has been three murders okay. in those woods. Here's where the two murders were. And then um, in the woods, the brother murdered his brother, wow. shot and killed him. At the top of the path, there's the giving tree. People leave um, coins, crucifix, sage, dream catchers, all kinds of gifts for okay. the Pukwudgie. It literally it. translates into creature that shoots poison arrows. You can see him peeking around the giving tree. He has very Whoa. distinct, um, this, this is what his print looks like. like I've three. seen the prints, like three. three in a palm. So the woods are just creepy. That's really what I wanted to share. No, that looks like a, a reflective. That might be like an outside property camera or something. Hmm.
So when we pulled up to the house to start the investigation, we were reminded of the exact words that were used to describe it at night, which is absolute darkness. And it is absolute darkness up there. We really wanted to investigate this place and see for ourselves if whatever was in this location would be willing to communicate with us. It's pretty chilly out. Yeah, it's definitely getting there. So if something does attack us, it's gonna hurt 10 times more. All right, so let's just show the viewers as soon as you enter the Hinsdale house. Nice big prison style gate on the entrance. All right, my EMF is rolling. All right, let's go. Hello, hello. First walking into the house, uh, I could definitely feel like a very heavy, almost sinister kind of vibe going in there. So we are here to do an investigation and we are gonna do a walkthrough with this EMF detector. Whatever spirits may be present, we're not here to harm you, we're only here to communicate. And if you could come close to us, this EMF detector in my hand will go off. And it'll let us know that you're here. There's this one specific display case with a doll in it, glass enclosure, magnetic latch, and Casey says, it says, do not open, do not touch. Oh, this is the section earlier that was mentioned uh, with this kind of Annabelle type doll in the case. Mm -hmm. it says, uh, do not open or touch management. Thank you. Hmm. What's it say? That yeah, there was like a couple fires here and I guess the, the dolls made it out. Or... Let's see what this doll looks like. It's missing an eyeball. There was like two dolls inside of it. One of them had like a, a missing eye. It's a trip. You think I should, uh... Him being him, he decides to open the door. I don't think that was a good idea. I was advising against it. You can even hear me on camera saying, I don't know, man. At your own risk. I mean, at, at your own risk. Is it open? It is. Instantly, I kind of felt like I probably shouldn't have done that. I think that I was doing it more for, for curiosity's sake and also like the viewer's sake. I said, all right, you know, nobody, nobody's supposed to touch this doll. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch it right now to show people that, you know, maybe this isn't a thing. If there's anything attached to this item, would you be willing to communicate with us tonight in a respectful manner? Okay. Well, that's that. If, you see, if you see my eyes roll to the back of my head try at any it, point... Try, try it with the EMF detector. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too, huh? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. My hand feels weird. Like within two minutes, my hand started cramping, which was very, very odd. Yeah, like After cramping, it? like crampy. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, like, like sore. Hmm. Dead ass. Interesting. Hundred percent. Like from my pinky to my thumb, kind of sore. I didn't feel any pain in it throughout the day earlier, but after I touched the doll, I started cramping up, which I found kind of weird. That's weird. All right, we'll see how it changes as we go. Yeah. That's also, weird. I noticed that there are some trigger objects in here. Like, oh yeah, more wind chimes. So maybe possibly, if there is something here that's trying to communicate with us, if you can use the items in your home. We've heard that this is the couch where the exorcism was performed at.
look at this. Wow. Like from the back of the couch rubbing against the wall. It must seem like a... Like a lot, a lot, right? Yeah. Let's see. You want to have a seat across from me? Sure. We're told that you could do things on command in this room. And that you've made things move for people. You've made your presence be known. We were told that there was a toy ghost in the corner of the room just hanging from a string and many people have witnessed the apparitions and the entities of this home actually moving that ghost on command. I heard that you could spin that ghost over there on command. Can you make that ghost start moving? It's 100% still right now. If you start moving that, if you could rotate that ghost, that would be incredible if you could show us that you're here right now. Even the slightest little movement or turn would indicate that you're present with us. Also. Also, just to not be rude. Is it If there's someone in here present, we would love to see you move this ghost in the corner. I don't even know that you can move that ghost in the corner. We've heard that you don't like being provoked. Yeah. Right? So, um... And no disrespect, we're not trying to provoke you, but at the same time, um... Wow. It's moving. Did you see that? Yeah, ooh. It's moving. Look, look, look. In this house, there is no draft. There's no windows open. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh. It's moving. Look, look, look. It slowly starts to rotate on its own. I mean, that alone gives you goosebumps because what the hell was making that move? Um. Wow. It's moving. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh. It's moving. Look, look, look. So a little bit of provoking might be healthy. If you could really do something, then do it. Now is your chance. You saw that, right? A hundred percent. Look, look. A hundred percent. Look, look. Put it on the back of the couch. Like up top? Yeah, so it's close. There you go. What's it gonna be? Hmm, something to take note of though. Yeah. Definitely moved. Definitely did move.
And then we heard footsteps from above us. $100 and a pack of cigarettes to anybody in this room that can move that ghost. <laughs> a pack of cigarettes. That's you making noise upstairs. Can you do it again? Can you do it down here? Hello, hello. Is anybody here with us? Can you? Let your presence be known. noises if that's you. We did hear about the giving tree earlier. We grabbed some tobacco and I think that we should go take a look. What do you think? Yep. Here we fucking go. Dude, you can't see shit. No, it's so dark out here. And middle of the woods, 12 o'clock at night, nobody around. That's usually the position that I find us in. The wildlife aspect of what we do when we're going into these wooded areas where Early in the season, they saw two baby bear cubs and a mama bear following behind it. Very aggressive type situation there. They have wombats, they have all sorts of very aggressive creatures up there. That's an unsettling thing as well. That danger is very, very real for us. Hey bear. What the fuck was that? Not already, bro. Did you hear that? I did. What the fuck was that? Not already, bro. Not in the mood. We were shocked when we went up there and it went from absolute silence to sticks and bushes breaking and rustling noises all around us. If we encounter a bear while we're out here, I'm never doing another video that involves woods. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm done with it at well, this keep point. Keep your ears peeled. Right in there. Bro. I'm tripping, bro. Me too. Oh, I see the giving tree. Do you? Yeah, there's a chair up there with a bunch of shit hanging off it. This is trippy, man. Now, I'm very sensitive to a lot of emotional and energy changes and switches. And going into the woods, it almost felt like we were stepping into another paradigm again. Like, this is, this is where the darkness resides. You got all these different trinkets. You got like a whole glass bowl over here hanging. 
with sage in it. I hear sticks like clapping together. This place is a trip. So let's make the offering. Is that an animal bone? Did someone offer it an animal? Where? Right there? What is that? It's like a skull or something. Is it? Whoa. That was me. Sorry. Hope I didn't break someone's offering. That is a skull. It's like a possum or something. We're here to offer you the best of the best. Red man. All right, well, we've made our offering and uh, hopefully you will make communication with us tonight. It's the only reason we're out here. You smell that? Smoke? No. What? Shit. Mm -mm. It smells like bear shit. Something big shit. Well, it smells like I'm about to get the fuck out of here then. It's literally so dark, like, even my flashlight is not really showing up on camera. So we should go for sure while we're out here then, just check out that pond. Oh, the one next to the house? Yeah, the one that, well, the one on the property. Colton told me we should definitely check out the lake because there were some bodies that were found in the lake. I wasn't really big and, and keen on the idea after the last experience that we had. I felt like I didn't really want to be near bodies of water or be close to the lake. You sure? Found, yeah. I mean, like, at least over near it. She's saying the apparitions are seen. They have those pictures out there. The body parts are found in there. Right there. Is that a dock? Is it a dock? Yeah, it's some sort of like water. All right, well, brush. I'm not going on that. We knew as we approached the lake, this is eerily reminiscent of something we've experienced earlier this season. I'm gonna walk out there. Okay. I'll be over here. It said Area. plants, aqua. Altar. Haunting. Altar haunting. I don't know how to describe it other than the most storybook-esque, haunted horror flick, the fog that I can possibly explain to you. If there's someone here that's present in the pond. Just so much fog, you could barely see the water. Dude, look at all this fog. Whoa. We know. You smell that? No. It smells like sulfur. Black messenger. Bro. We know. You smell that? No. It smells like sulfur. Black messenger. Bro. No. It smells like sulfur. Black messenger. Bro. I know you heard that. Definitely was a trigger for me. Uh, having to go to another body of water after what we had encountered at one of the last investigations that we did. <laughs> Hey, what's 
go back to the house. Okay. We decided to go back into the Hinsdale house, and as we had entered the living room, I noticed something absolutely horrifying. Look at this. That's not good. No, come here, look at this. I'm seeing it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. It's not just open, it's like fucking hanging out. I looked across the living room and I saw the case that the doll was in was actually open now. Look at this. That's not good. No, come here, look at this. I'm seeing it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. I'm a hundred percent positive that I closed the case. Looking at it, it's opened and the doll was moved. Was that closed when I got it? It was 100% closed. I closed it. And that doll was way further back in there, bro. I have goosebumps all over my body right now. Oh, my whole, it feels like I have pins and needles sticking in my arms. I feel like, I feel like I should close it, right? That shit was all the way out. Wait, shit. Hello? I'm coming down. Dude, I don't know what it is about down here, man. Maybe we could put the static camera over here. Mm -hmm. Aim this way. And put that on the ground, maybe. We'll put the night vision, right? Yeah, we'll put this on the ground. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll go lights out, like pitch black down here. I like that idea. You wanna go pitch black here in the demon basement? Yeah, I kinda do. What do you think? I mean, yeah. As long as I'm not down here by myself. It was definitely a very strange and uncomfortable feeling. We cut off all the lights. We can't see anything. Can you show us that you're here with us, please? I know we've been a little bit, uh... Did you hear that? Yeah. Something just went over there like a click. If that was you, can you please join us and show us that you're present? So, my name is Casey, and this my is Colton. Is Colton. We're here to be friends with you. We're not here to cause any problems or stress you out. Is it okay if you light up the other side for us? Can you light up the green side? If you step on the other side of the device, it'll light up green. Can you show us that you can actually communicate? Were you the one upstairs that was moving the ghost?
I'm going to try some. Okay. You have your phone with you? I do. Can I use it? Yeah. Here, keep this rolling so that we have audio and, and video. Okay. Are the spirits of the people found in the pond still on the premises? Have you crossed over to the other side? Or do you reside here still? What did you just ask? I said, are the spirits of the people that were found in the pond? Do you still reside here? No. It says no, so it's not them. One of the owners of this place mentioned that there might be a demon that lives in the basement. Are you a demon? Are you an angry spirit? Do you know what angry means? Did you even know that you were a spirit? Will you show yourself? If I keep taking pictures, will you let it be known that you're here with us right now? There's no light. I've never seen that before. And the fact that people say that there was a demon down here at one point, my eyes just kept gravitating to these same areas, just waiting to catch something out of the corner of my vision. I've never seen it not light up. No. There's something weird going on down here for sure. Did you hear that? I wonder if it's picking up something in the crawl space up there. Yes? Yes, it is. A lot of my attention subconsciously was going to the crawl space. If we put the prism in the crawl space... Why don't we just start popping pictures in there? picking up in the crawl space. One thing that we definitely wanted to do at this location was a blind spirit box session. Now Colton had agreed he would be the one inside the house, I was going to go outside of the house and I would communicate with him through the phones on speaker. No one should ever feel comfortable going into a situation like a blind spirit box in a well-known haunted location that has had exorcisms performed on it. He obviously couldn't hear what I was saying, he had the spirit box headphones in, he had the earmuffs over his ears that were muting out everything else around him, and he had a blindfold on. Not only that, but I actually left him in pitch black darkness. All right, you ready to be in uh, pitch black? This made it even more scary, knowing that Casey was going to be outside, locked in the truck, however many yards away from the house, while I'm in here by myself next to this doll that is completely off limits to touch, and it had already moved once throughout the night on its own. I felt scared for him, when I walked outside.
is whatever spirit is present, what is moving the ghost in the room. Children. Is whatever presence is here evil? Beyond. As I sit there, I'm extremely uneasy. I almost like can't sit still. I feel like something's gonna touch me or something's gonna pull on me. And I started hearing really clear words coming through the spirit box. Are you upset that Colton is in there right now by himself? Maybe so. What is keeping you here? What is keeping you attached to this home? Distress. Is there more than one spirit present here? Oh, yes. How many? Can you give me a direct number? Is there more than one spirit present here? Oh, yes. How many? Can you give me a direct number? Can you give me a direct number? Lasting. Had I known that that case had opened next to me, I would have probably bolted out of the building. How many? Can you give me a direct number? Lasting. Do you want us to leave this place? Hasty. Hasty. If you would like us to leave this place hastily. Out of. Give, a, give us a sign. Show us something. Do. Let's go see. Backward. Let's go get him. Backward. Let's go get him. Oh no. Fresh. Try to lock me out. Shortened. Hey, bro. Great. We're good. We're good. Dude, that always fucks me up. Sorry, Sorry bro. I felt the fucking ground move before you touched me, like this split second. This place was cerebrally horrifying for me. There was this on edge feeling going into it the entire time carrying through. There was no safety or like safe area that we could find in the house where we felt comfortable. We did do a lot more tests while we were at this property. And it seemed like the main things that we were able to capture while we were there was a little bit of movement we watch that ghost move on command more than one time, and we know that there's something going on with that doll in the living room. To anybody that does go to this location and tries to do an overnight investigation, I would highly recommend maybe don't open that case. I'm not sure if, if what we did while we were there may have caused some type of disturbance, but we're there to get evidence. We're there to get proof. We're there to capture some kind of activity. Every now and then we're willing to do what we have to do to go the extra mile to see if we can get something on camera. I definitely think this place is haunted. I recommend it to anybody that's interested in this field and wants to catch some legitimate activity.
it's not just one area of this home that has got this crazy energy going on. It's literally acres, hundreds of acres of property. I feel like this home is definitely haunted. There's things happening there that can't be explained. And I feel like um, ultimately it paid off.